hello youtubers so today i am not make, going to make some special tutorials however there are some problems associated with the xml tutorial which i created yesterday so it is not able to run the code in the chrome browser many people uh, complain that it is not able to run in the chrome browser however in ie and firefox it is working fine so there are two alternatives to run this code in chrome browser so let's see each of the method how we can run this uh, xml transformation in the chrome browser so i will open my code in the sublime text so let me just open it so this was the tutorial about the transformation of xml file into an html file so if you have not looked into that tutorial i strongly recommend that you go ahead and look into that tutorial and then come back to run the code in the chrome browser and see this tutorial how it is going to work okay enough talking let's get started so i have already created some terminals code that you need to run it so let me just open why it is not able to run this in the chrome browser so if i go ahead if i open the xml tutorial and let me just open it in the chrome browser Let me first open it in the Safari. So just uh, give it a moment. It will open this in the Safari. In Safari, in Chrome and in Firefox, even in Opera, it should work fine. But due to the security principle that Chrome browser implements does not allow this kind of a transformation to occur so you can see that now you have converted the xml file into an html file so if i copy this and if i am going to paste it in the chrome browser so you can see that there is nothing in the page so if i go ahead and inspect this element and if I go into the console tab, you can see that unsafe attempt to load URL. File URL are treated as unique security origins. So due to the security principle, it is not able to render the or transform the XML file into the HTML file. To work around, you can just copy this error and go into the Google. and you can paste it so first URL you can go ahead and there are two commands or uh, terminal that you have to run into that so this is the specific file uh, specific command which allows to overpower the security principle so you can uh, deny the security principle and you can run this so if you are using mac like i am using mac so i have to run this code if you are using windows then you have to look into this code okay so i worked i use this two code in windows as well as in mac it is running fine however for this tutorial since i am using mac so i have to run this code make sure that when you have installed the chrome it should be in the default location if you have given some different location just point the chrome exe to some different location so these are the default location how the chrome is installed while doing the setup okay so if i go ahead and if i copy this since i am going to run this in the mac so if i am going to open my terminal and when you are running the command prompt just right click and run it as an administrator so uh, for me i have to type sudo for running this in an administrator mode and if i press enter it just asks me to give the password let me just enter the password and here is the chrome 
browser and again I forgot the path so let me just open it first in safari mode so that I can get the path and if I paste this you can see that now the chrome has started rendering because it overpowers the security principle so the security principle is not valid so this is how you run it in the chrome browser so this is the first method how you are going to run this in the chrome browser the second method is that if you are having a local browser so let me just close all this so if you are having some local server set up in your Mac or in your PC you can just copy this folder into that local server and try to run the code over this server so I have PHP installed already so what I can do is that I can copy this XML tutorial and if I go ahead into my local server file path so in the uh, ht docs I need to put this folder because this is the root folder of the server where the files are recognized and if I run the server so it asks me to give the password So it opens the window to run the server. So if I go into manage server section and this is Apache web server. So if I start it, this is the local server. This is not the internet server. So if you have any kind of an internet server also just go into your domain and just copy this XML tutorial into that server and it should run fine so it is now you can see that the status is now running so if I go ahead and if I look into the same code it should be localhost let me see what is my folder name so it's XML tutorials okay sorry I think so I misspelled it so you can see that uh, you have this directory available now if I go into students.xml you can see that now the code is rendering fine without running the allow file in access terminal code so allow file access from file so this you don't have to run if you have the local server setup just copy the folder into that local server and run this code so these are the two methods how you can run the transformation of XML into HTML through the terminal or the command prompt or the server that you have installed locally or the internet server the same method which, which I used for the local server you can use it for the internet server also hope this this make all sense I know that this was little bit of setup that was actually necessary to run the code in the Chrome browser so I hope you learned something out of it. So thank you for watching this tutorial and have a great day. Bye everyone.